previously on SRC Garage. Holy fucking shit balls. Boy, that kid sucks fucking fast. What's up, everybody? The old man out here in the shop tonight, SRC Garage. I apologize. I haven't uh, I haven't been posting videos as much as I had been. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it uh, stems from a little bit of depression. I'm very upset with what's going on in this country right now, and I don't want to harp on it. I don't want to run down that freaking rabbit hole right now because I just get my blood pressure up get me all upset and somehow we got to find a way to get through this and get get our lives back on track but anyway so we left off my last video we had just lost second or third round in Limpy's cash days it was um, Texas 2k 2019 and we had just lost uh, second or third round in the cash days. We were pretty upset. I mean, it's just, it's heartbreaking. I mean, you travel that far um, to go out with a, a failure, a parts failure like that, that far from home, end your whole trip on a sour note. You got all the way home to think about it. It makes it rough, but I don't know. Somehow we managed to turn this trip around, and it was a hell of a good time. Unfortunately, uh, losing second gear caused us to lose that round, and I, I gave it my best shot, and sometimes that's just racing. Nothing we can do about it. Just got to fix it and try again. I really think we had the, one of the fastest vehicles here today, but we're going to go home, and uh, we're going to get... Um, gonna get this transmission out I believe it uh, I believe it rolled the sprag so get this transmission out replace the sprag and we'll get back to racing you could hear the disappointment in his voice we'd come so far all the way from Ohio to Texas to get taken out by a rolled sprag you can see here when he tries to make the shift from low to high the alternator belt flies off as the truck hits a rev limiter Heartbreaking, man. Heartbreaking. That's all I can say. But Boosted invited us to come up for dinner. And we got a call from uh, a friend of ours that wanted a little grudge race if we could possibly get that truck fixed. So Boosted had an idea. When we got back to Boosted shop after dinner, we had to get the orange car off the lift. It had no rear axle yeah, in it. I got that one. He was switching the car from small to big tires or big to small i can't remember but anyway we had to set the orange car down on some casters just to get it out of the way so we could get billy's truck on the lift cooper was there he was helping bless his heart see a big knot on your head buddy where the f oh my goodness is that a door the door got you buddy Sorry, Dad. Dad let you down on that deal. <laughs> <laughs> Not on your head, buddy. <laughs> well, you can't see you if you're looking at it while I'm recording. Hi, Coop. Come here. Don't push the button. Don't push the button. Don't push the button. Gotta raise it up, buddy. Oh, he knows what it is now. Now, keep in mind, this is Sunday night. Actually, Monday morning, Chris had to be at work at 6 a.m. It never phased him. 
Once we got the transmission out, Chris sent us on our way up to see Mr. Wendell. Give you guys a rundown of what's going on here. We were on our way to see Boosted and have dinner with him and uh, Kayla. And we passed uh, Prime, the owner's Joe, uh, the Prime truck, it's, it's out of Texas. Passed him on the freeway and I get a call a little bit later and he said he wants to race and he could, he could help me fix my transmission. Uh, turns out he didn't have the good aftermarket parts that I needed to fix it, but we had somebody contact us uh, by the name of Wendell, and he is going to help us get this transmission fixed. Uh, we pulled the tranny out at Boosted Shop, and uh, we're pulling it here to Wendell's right now. Once we get it fixed, we'll take it back to Boosted's, put it back in, and uh, we may have a race tonight with, uh, with Prime, so stay tuned. So we are on our way to meet Mr. Wendell. Mr. Wendell is one of the most incredible, wonderful people I've ever met in my life. He took care of us down there on a Monday morning at two o'clock in the morning. He pieced our transmission together out of parts he had in stock there at the shop. I can't ever thank him enough. Wendell Dunaway owns Mr. Wendell's Performance in Dallas, Texas. Mr. Wendell works on all the Street Outlaw guys' transmissions. Okay, so you have, this is your clutch hub. Mm -hmm. He's right a fantastic here. person. And it's a stock clutch hub. Mm -hmm. This was a stock clutch hub. Ooh. This is the one that was in Andy Reynolds' uh, red wagon. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him or not. Um, local guy here, really mm -hmm. good about doing wheelies all the way down the track. Yeah. Anyway, um, he lost he lost second gear mm -hmm. as well, and come to find out, it was this uh, it was this clutch up. So, what we do now is once you get over about 800 horsepower, mm -hmm. we try to install this bullet. Oh shit, Mr. Wendell. Bullet clutch hub. Mr. Wendell. Yes, sir. We're on a budget. I understand. <laughs> So I'm making recommendations. All right. So it's up to you. All right. You know, I, um, <laughs> all, I can, all I can do is 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 uh, lead you to water. I understand. It's, it's up to you whether you want to drink it or not. But this is no, seriously. I got to make some more water. I understand. <laughs> I completely understand. Um, so, like I said, I just um, I would recommend us putting this in there. But it's your. Mr. Wendell got our transmission all put back together with all the right parts and pieces while we watched. It was about 2 o'clock in the morning by the time he got it all done, and we headed back to Boosted Shop. Sorry it's so late, man. Oh, it's all good. You get you fixed up? Yeah, he got a Pro Mod drum in there, 36 element sprag. Yeah, what did it break? Huh? It broke the sprag, and it, all the clutches were burnt, so he adjusted the line pressure, too. He's a great dude. Okay, push the front this way a little bit. Towards you. Yeah. Push a little bit. That's good. Okay, I'm on the dowel over here. Alright. You are I can't also see. on the dowel. Okay. Uh, we need to be I, I know what you're talking about. So we need to check the converter spacing real quick. Yeah. Okay, let's get this bolted up. When you gotta get up here to work for us? Uh, oh, like about six. You heard where y'all gonna go? Be said it looks good out there. That's a good load. Is that where you say you can put a bunch of power down? Yes. Well, that's where I raced JV and you rolled it was there. As we finished up putting the transmission in the S10, I topped the transmission fluid off and we loaded the little truck on a trailer. Alright, so in a 
matter of four or five hours, we got the transmission out with the help of Boosted. We got it to Wendell Dunway, Mr. Wendell's performance. He took his uh, parts that he had, Pro Mod Drum, 36 element Sprague, clutch packs, uh, some other little things. Put it back together for us and uh, he's a great guy say enough good about him but we've got this thing back together boosted helped us put it back in the truck we used his lift now we're headed to the spot we're going to race the, the prime truck very fast truck out of, uh, of texas gonna have our work cut out for us but uh hopefully the old truck can pull something out you can tell billy's exhausted I was too, but we were pumped, man. We were in Dallas-Fort Worth on Eagle Parkway, street racing against Prime, the LS twin-turboed all-wheel drive Chevy pickup truck that we'd seen on 660 Street racing all over Oklahoma and Texas. Let's get this thing done. Limpy banged the light. Billy's S10 took off. As he pulled second gear, he put about two car lengths on prime, taking the win against the all-wheel drive twin turbo pickup. It was incredible. Well worth all the work and all the effort. Couldn't thank everybody enough for what they had done. At the end of the night, Limpy even signed the fender. Much. Yeah. There we go. It's the 18th, and it's 4.31 a.m. <laughs> we'll have it for now. <laughs> there we go. We'll be back, man. Love you, buddy. Love you, too. The next morning, we woke up in a gas station parking lot, exhausted. Texas. I just slept in the truck all night. Well, a few hours anyway. Had a little breakfast burrito. I'm eating a push up. Life couldn't be better. That was by far one of the craziest, wildest trips that we've ever made to go street racing anywhere. And we've done some crazy stuff, but I'll never forget Texas 2K 2019. We weren't quite done yet. We had the truck back in one piece and we were feeling a little froggy. So we decided we we're gonna go through Memphis on the way home, pay a little visit to a little black Toyota pickup truck they call Beetlejuice next time. See you guys.